the purpose of the chapel was interring clergy. And so there was originally on this natural hill, there was a cross that was replaced by this chapel. And the architect is Brielmeyer, Erhard Brielmeyer and son. He was a German architect. He was also, not only did he build this chapel and the gatehouse that you came in where the caretaker lived, but he also built St. Josephette. And he was able to take all those stones from the old post office in Chicago. He was able to mentally look at these stones. I don't know how he did that. He must have been a, somewhat of a genius to do that. And he was able to construct St. Josephettes out of those stones. So he built this chapel and it was consecrated in 1902. And as I said, the purpose of this was to bury clergy. And in the crypt, we have 45 vaults. All of them are empty except for one. And that's Father Tar Shevitz, who's up there on the top. Father Tar Shevitz was a Polish priest, had studied Rome, in Rome, he studied theology, he came over here and became the first parish of St. Casimir up on Bremen, which was also built, and the architect was Brielmeyer, who built this and that and everything, okay? So they knew one another, and he knew the parish, and Poor Father Tarashevitz passes away in 1903, a year after this chapel was consecrated, 1902. And I'm sure Brielmeyer goes to the parish and says, look, I got this beautiful chapel in Calvary Cemetery. Why don't you be the first parish to have someone buried there? And I'm sure they took it up on it. And on a cold February day in 1903, 2,200 Polish parishioners processed from St. Casimir to the downtown area. They stopped traffic for 19 minutes, stopped all the trolley cars, okay? And they marched three and a half, processed, I should say, three and a half miles out here, accompanied by the Kosciuszko Guard. And they come marching out here, and they probably, because of winter, the hill might have been a bit tricky. They probably came up the hill that Rilmar had constructed to bring all these heavy stones here. And it's at the south end, so the, the road starts at that end, and it slowly comes up here. And as you get over here, you came up, by the way, you came up that winding stairs, perhaps, and then you stepped over a few feet, and there's a smaller steps that goes up, and then there's that odd oval shape. There was a tunnel. He built a tunnel there so that you could stop and bring coffins in, okay? And then the road continued, of course, to the top, okay? So they could bring the coffins. I could just envision 2,200 Polish parishioners processing through here, standing here with the Kosciuszko Guard. They enter Father Tarashevitz and they leave out the side door. But then I think it's the original door hanging there. Okay. Since then, because of lack of ventilation, there was code, as I understand it, in Wisconsin. There's no ventilation in the vaults. Nobody else was buried here. So, they're all buried on the hill, and especially Jesuits, it's quite noticeable, there are 225 buried around the hill. And so it was used, this chapel was used primarily for masses on Memorial Day and on All Souls Day. And in between, they may have had other novenas, etc., used on which the chapel could be used. Uh, it was used up until 1950, and it was stopped at that point. 1950. And from 1950 on, it has been essentially abandoned. Um, it was used for storage for uh, the cemetery workers. And then after that, they I don't know if they continued or not, but anyway, vandals would get in here and they did some destruction, like the statues up in the top. And they were also did some destruction down here. And then finally, in 1992, when lightning hit, hit the chapel, the archdiocese was going to tear this chapel down. Then the then the members of the friends, rather the friends of Calvary Cemetery, stepped in. And we saved it from being torn down, and uh, we we're in the process of restoring it. It has a new roof, and we're in the process now putting new windows in, first level. And we want to work on the top, 24 on the top, and do, uh, ultimately some more restor restoration. So that's, that's our process. Yeah.